okay welcome back to a new video you're probably wondering why i'm on the private server and the title should explain it itself i feel like this is the most neglected thing in the whole entire history of aba like the last time we actually got a buff or not even a buff what am i talking about a uh, change to the private server the last thing we ever got to private servers was in so it was in December of the 24th, uh, 2022. It was when they changed it to where we can get money in private servers now. It wasn't a bug. It was just a privilege, I guess. But that's pretty much the last thing they ever did to it. I'm not sure what else they might have done to it. They probably just fixed some issues that might have been bugs in private servers, but I highly doubt that. It was just mostly chest issues where if you open a chest it will be sucky ability to highlight and select private server codes text so you can copy and paste what well when was i have never seen i have never seen that each time i put a private server in i have to just freaking go go back <clears throat> i have to go back into like my dms and copy and paste a code that I used to one of my subscribers since they're so generous. Private server screen will now show your last generate code if you wish to reuse it. I have never seen that. <laughs> uh, Pro server change font of private server. Yeah, it's just mostly change fonts, private server bugs, or fix the fix the stuck invisible box private server bug. Made it for private server list show friend more accurately. Yeah, basically they they never did anything to change private servers. It's mostly bug fixes, but I feel like they don't even focus many on that. In my opinion, the thing is that most all the changes they did for quality of life changes, they actually never worked. I have never seen the last generated private server code. Like each time I try to click on something, it takes like an hour to load in. They really gotta just change the G, uh, G, GUI for the private server codes, in my opinion. It's so lame. Like, it's, if it seems so wonky and it takes forever to actually get into a private server, especially if you're trying to just get in it fast, you're trying to spam it, you want to go into your private server already. Like, I have to, like, for streaming, I, the thing, the thing I, when people ask why I don't do private servers more often, it's because streaming and private servers is kind of sucky. First of all, the more, even though you're the main host of the private server, you should have ping advantage, but you don't. As soon as, as soon as a whole bunch of people just log in into the private server, it gets so, so, so laggy for no reason, even though you're the one that made the private server, you just get lag spikes out of nowhere. It's really, really dumb in my opinion that your private server is just lagging, even though it's just, it's just a few people. I don't know what it is about ABA servers just being so laggy. Like even Illusions has like more players, more like max players that can be in the game, and it ready, 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 ready lags. ABA just lags so much; it's so unreal. Now another issue I have with the pirate servers is that the health, the health for to me, the health seems really low. It seems like it's still at a hundred health, like. For me, it seems like it's like 100 health. I'm not sure if it's just me from past experience, but each time I just fight somebody, it feels like they have such little health. It feels like they're at 120 or whatever health we're at right now. But yeah, and some other issues with the private server VIP, uh, the private server settings is that stocks, for some reasons, whenever you do stocks and you just like put, say I put five, my bad. Say you put five and then you start a match. For some reason, all the all the times you like go through the matches, the stocks will eventually go low. Like your stocks will not say at five. So you have five stocks. It should be at four, four, whatever. Like yeah, five stocks. So it's you should be at five stocks. And then for I don't know where the stocks just change. They end up just going down to two, to three like it's so annoying it's not consistent it's just so irritating that each time i do a stock it's it just goes down for no reason i don't know if it's a bug or something i don't know if anybody suggested it but i'm 
gonna after this video goes out i'm probably just gonna try to put this in bug reports but i have no way of actually knowing if this is a bug or what i, I don't even know man and i feel like they neglected private servers as per, they, i feel like they don't even know that most of these bugs exist because i feel like no one reports them like no one actually reports these bugs it's kind of weird that these these things haven't changed it's, uh for jug 2 for some reason when you start jug up uh you can no longer switch your characters i don't know if they they implemented they put this into the jug system for people who can't switch characters in battle but as you saw on my screen i just couldn't switch characters anymore i don't know to be honest it's really really annoying like look i can't switch characters anymore the character option button's gone i can no longer switch characters it's pretty dumb in my opinion like i can't switch characters in mid jug i have to go through this whole entire process but clicking free for all clicking stocks start a match for that wait for that match to end because for some for, so for some reason it just bugs you out it just bugs the whole server out look i'll show you i'll show you guys look i start up the match you still can't switch characters you gotta wait till this whole white screen ends i don't know what this white screen does but it just does this for some reason you gotta wait till that ends and i think it's just, there you go now it's fixed it's fixed it's fixed you can you can change characters again but once you go back into the jug for some reason it just does that again it's really really annoying when i'm trying to, especially when i'm trying to stream it, it's just really annoying that i had to do all that just stop the whole game just to let people switch characters because you know so staying a character is kind of boring in jug because hey you maybe want to switch you maybe want to pick another character but you have to ask the freaking host to say hey you gotta put free for all change it for we can switch characters blah 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 it's really really annoying it just ruins the whole mood of the game and yeah not to mention my this is my biggest my it's just my biggest issue still with the stocks man like the stocks is so annoying especially when you're doing jug you try to put it to five and suddenly it just changes to uh what's it called four three i'm not sure what i'm, I'm not even sure what to scream um to post about that it's kind of hard to post because i'm not even sure what causes it it just the game just changes it the game just changes the stocks am i supposed to just put that in bug reports or what i'm not even sure man because uh, how would they know if it's true or not the only way they know if it's true is if i record but that's gonna take a little bit because i'm not even sure how it changes it's it's really dumb i just really i just really want them to take a look at private servers and hopefully fix this up but yeah that's mostly the main issues i know about private servers there may be more that have not been fixed yet i'm sure there's more because i don't know it's private servers man private servers are kind of sucky there's so many issues with them first is the lagging just lagging out of nowhere for how many people there are in the server even though it's a private server it shouldn't be lagging at all the stocks just switching up on you and just changing it to three or two for no reason that's really 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 annoying and jug not being able to let you switch characters that's even more annoying because hey you're gonna stop you're gonna have to stop the whole stream just to just to let people switch characters and that's stupid <laughs> uh there should be an option other uh, this is my suggestion instead of having this player name just ha give us option to kick everybody in the, in the whole game that would be really more helpful because uh, when I'm streaming, I had to just tell everybody to leave because I don't want to have to go through the process of having to rejoin my own, this own private server and then having to do what, uh, what's it called? People joining first, even though some people have really been here. Like, eh, just give us the option to kick everybody and whoever gets in first again just gets the privilege of playing again. But yeah, uh, just mayor, just like I feel like they should focus a little more on the private server because it is a game pass. So it's kind of sucky that this game pass has so many faults and it still hasn't been changed but hey i'm sure i'm not trying to throw any shade but i'm sure it's just uh people haven't reported or they haven't saw any bug reports on this on the private servers so yeah um uh, i really hope they maybe look into this video and maybe they see uh how they can fix private servers sure it's not a big issue to fix some of these bugs i'm just I'm just sure that they haven't seen any of the bugs. That's all my main issues. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a pretty short video today. I don't feel like playing rank today. I just want to 
make a little video on private servers and why they should be at least checked up on because it's been a while since they should be checked on it's been like last december is that's that's the last time they actually did anything for pirate servers but yeah that's all i gotta say i hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already thank you for all the support and i'll catch you guys later bye